right, well, millions will pause to look up on Monday afternoon as a total solar eclipse will cross the United States. The Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., they are using the moment of shared excitement as a chance to bring Americans together through astronomy with the festival on the National Mall. From Texas Hill Country to Niagara Falls, millions of people across the country, they are about to experience a shared celestial show. And at the Air and Space Museum, the total solar eclipse means Super Bowl level preps and the chance to use the hype as the hook. There's a sense that this is something outside of Earth that sort of unites everyone. It also connects us to ancient cultures, thinking about how in the times before it was understood why eclipses happened, how cultures dealt with this. Note, millions of Americans not in the path of totality like here in Idaho, you'll see a partial eclipse on Monday. And if you plan on watching the solar eclipse, it's essential to protect your eyes. And if you want to buy your own glasses, just make sure that they come from a company approved by the American Astronomical Society. A list of the approved companies is on your screen right now. Not all solar viewing glasses are created equal, so it's important to make sure that you get yours from the right place. And you do need them even if you're only seeing a partial eclipse. Looking at the sun any day of the week isn't a good idea.